Hey friends, so we're here to chat a little bit of Hearthstone tonight. It is launch day for the Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion. Um, super excited to be here with uh, Christian and Mimo. Yo. Hi guys. Hello. Hey. So we're going to play some cards. Yes. going to do that thing. Right. be cool. Well, we're gonna... Christian's going to play some cards. You're going <laughs> to help me play some cards. <laughs> it's a Shadow card. Mimo. It's cooperative. So Christian and I obviously play a lot of Hearthstone, and Imogen, you've been dabbling quite a bit more recently. So what, what's your kind of mindset coming into an expansion for uh, Hearthstone at this point? I get free cool stuff that's PvE, which means mm -hmm. I don't get my butt handed to me on quite a regular basis, as I do in Ranked. Uh, and new cards and stuff. I just kind of like it. Yeah. But I have no idea about using the uh, drafting system, which I'm hoping to learn a lot more about this evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a ton of new cards that have been added to the game, and obviously we've opened a stack of packs sort of individually ourselves so far, so we've all got, got some new toys to play with. But one of the best ways to kind of, um, you know, play with the new toys is to actually do a arena draft because we can sort of randomly pick a whole bunch of cards uh, from the new expansions because they tend to weight the new cards a little bit more um, favorably when the, the, you know, the random draw sort of pops up. So, That's right. Um, yeah, but I mean, before we do that, there's a whole bunch of cool cards in the game, and we've um, opened some today, and and maybe got some favourites. So, Christian, yeah. what are you liking the look of at the moment? What what sort of caught your eye with the new set? Uh, as far as like constructed goes, I'm really liking the Priest Death Knight. Where is he? Mm -hmm. um, Shadow Reaper Anduin. Um, yep. I've been running a deck using Raza the Unchained, where the hero power drops to zero mana. Um, and so then you're dealing two damage for zero mana and you can just refresh that like heaps of times uh, and do tons of damage with it. Um, it's a nice, fun combo deck. And Priest is always nice, stealing opponents' cards and using them against them. So, yeah, that's been one of my favorites. Sweet. So um, I got super lucky last night opening up all my packs and managed to secure myself a golden uh, Lich King, which was really good start to the expansion. I've got a chance to use him a bit today, which has been heaps of fun. Yep, so Taunt and gets to add a random Death Knight card to your hand at the end of each turn, which, of course, you know, with a golden one, all of the Death Knight cards you get actually are gold too, which is uh, a nice, nice little bonus. Which which yeah. is your favourite of the Death Knight cards? Oh, it's got to be Frostmourne. Yeah? Frostmourne yeah. for sure, yeah. Huh. So I've pulled Frostmourne once, and um, Frostmourne, um, I think it's got three durability as a weapon, and when it um, loses its last point of durability, it death rattles and brings back all of the creatures that you've killed with it. So very, very well themed. I think that's a, a great thing with this expansion I've noticed so far. Like all of the th the theme for uh, Wrath of the Lich King it has been done really, really well. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. 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 All down to even the, the littlest penguin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, there he is. Meta defining oh. card right here. <laughs> Everyone prepares. On land, a group of penguins is called a waddle. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank um, you. I think another card that's going to have massive impact on the meta is going to be the new Druid. Where is Druid? Uh, the 10 mana card. I actually don't have this one. Ultimate Infestation. Mm. Deal 5 damage, draw 5 cards, gain 5 armor, summon a 5 5 gold. Oh my so god. It, it's just does everything in one card. It's kind of like a 10 mana Kazakus potion, um, mm. but which is like the do-it-yourself, put-it-together potion. Um, but this is consistent, and yeah, I think this is going to be a very strong card. Yeah, that's a good one. The, um, the one that I've been playing around with a fair bit today, which I think is going to be another pretty strong one, um, I think it is a neutral card. Uh, five mana. Um, I'm just trying to bring up the name of it now. It's um, Christian. You might remember. It's the one that actually checks your deck for uh, taunt, divine oh, shield, yeah, and wind fury minions. Corpse taker. Um, great. Corpse taker. That's the one. That's the yeah. one. Yeah. Really mm. strong. Mm. Uh, especially the it's kind of the easiest minions to combo it with. Uh, um, Wicker flame burn bristle in paladin because you get you get the taunt, divine shield, and life steal. And in shaman alakia. You get um, Wind Fury, Taunt, and Divine Shield. So, yeah. Plus, you can just fill your deck with minions with those keywords too. But yeah, very yeah. strong. I, 
I um, I built a uh, hand buff paladin deck this morning. I've been playing around with that a little bit, and I actually had to craft Wicker Flame Burn Bristle to, uh, yeah. to do it. New expansion comes out, and I'm crafting a card from two expansions ago. What the heck? So, <laughs> didn't buy enough silly. cards last expansion. I know, I know, right? <laughs> as far as arena goes, yeah. when we if we do a draft, um, this mm. is the one card I really want to find. Very, very strong in arena. Um, anything with an immediate effect like this, basically giving uh, a minion Blessing of Kings as part of the, the battle cry and taunt, super, super strong. So. Not to mention that it's a creature on its own as well, so you're yes. getting two for the price of one. And yeah, that's one hell of a pun in the description, the flavor text. Unbridled enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised awesome. you haven't seen that one. No. I didn't no. <laughs> And again, the golden card for that looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I've also been enjoying the Skulking Geist. It's the, the Jade Idol killer. Destroys all spells uh, that cost one in both decks and hands. So no more infinite Jade Idols. Oh. Um, yeah. It's really I love cool. how they've even called it out in the flavor text. Yes. <laughs> it's a nice Star Wars they, they knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. It's, an, it's the yeah. ultimate hate card for Jade, but mm. it's needed. So that's good. Yeah. That's sweet. Oh well, let's um let's actually play some games then. We'll uh, we'll sort of uh, go through a bit of a draft tonight. Now, um, Imogen, you've been doing a bit of arena drafting lately, um, <laughs> and um, th- this would probably be a good chance for us all to collaborate on a bit of a, a sort of deck build and and maybe talk about the sort of stuff that we would look like look for when we're we're building a, a decent arena deck. So. Um, yeah, I think Arena is that type of situation where it just gives me all these options of cards like I've never seen, and that's really cool. And then, you know, I'll pick a card right at the beginning, which is like, you know, plus for every pirate you have in your deck, and like never see a pirate card mm. again. Mm-hmm. Um, so I always make bad choices. Um, in the most recent patch, the one just yesterday, um, they specifically have made it so the first two sets of cards you'll see in Arena will be synergy cards. Um, and that those synergy cards you decide, you pick, have a higher chance of appearing in the rest of the draft. Hmm. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So it kind of it sets up the rest of the cards. All right. Yeah, That's somewhat. Good to it's, know. It's, it's, it's still only a probability, so you still might see very few of that synergy, but it increases the chance that you'll see something from that synergy. Okay. Yeah. So it actually makes it possible to do like a dragon deck or a jade deck or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. That's good. All right. Are you, are you seeing these? Are you seeing Taronde because you've bought the the portrait or you've achieved that, the portrait that's right yeah that was from the twitch uh turbo whatever twitch prime uh, uh yeah and then morgul was from the recruiter friend yeah. yeah um and poor jana hasn't been replaced with uh no with I um shit was it she was a cat uh, <laughs> cool. oh, yeah. yeah. i don't have, no, have cat guy i don't or medivh i don't have either of them mm. yeah but he's pretty cool. I, I do like Dadgar, though. He's, um, he's not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> Dadgar. Uh, all right, so we want to get into the draft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let's start here. So, Imogen, you've got a choice between these three classes. Which one would you typically go for if you were drafting an arena deck? Shaman. So, shaman? You go Shaman? Why would you go Shaman? Because I am more comfortable. I, I usually play Hunter, Shaman, or Warrior. Mm-hmm. So, just of those. And I hate the Priest. I just yeah. hate it. I, I don't enjoy playing against it or playing it. So it would be Major or Shaman, so right. dealer's yeah. choice. <laughs> is a, I don't know how the arena meta is going to be with Knights of the Frozen Throne, but prior to that in the Angoro meta, the three strongest arena classes were definitely Paladin, Mage, and Rogue. Those were the th- th- okay. three strongest. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but w- Warrior was the worst, but um, all three of these are viable, <laughs> definitely. Good to know. <laughs> I don't think it matters which one we pick tonight. I, I mean, I would I would usually try and my, my arena style is usually heavy on um, board control, so being able to summon additional minions every turn is is pretty cool. So we can we can go shaman. Oh, yeah, shaman it is. Mm. And look, he's so adorable. <laughs> oh, there's right. the corpse taker. That snow fury giant's good too. Holy crap, this is actually not bad. Yeah, so we've got an epic epic right off the bat. Um, mm. I think. Blubber Baron is a is a very poor choice because it relies on a lot of synergy with Battlecry minions, um, and even so, even if you uh, summon two Battlecry minions while it's in your hand, you're, you're still only getting it to a three three, which is worse than vanilla stats. So I definitely write off the Blubber Baron. Do we want to go for the Corpse Taker? Mm, should we consider the Giant for a second? Yep. So Snow Fury Giant, we're going to need Overload cards, um, mm. but this, yeah, I don't know. I, I like the idea of the Corpse Taker. Yeah, there's not a bunch of overload cards in um, the new um, Knights of the Frozen Throne selection. No, so right. there's not actually. Yeah, but mm. Corpse Taker it is. Sounds good. All right. Cool. 
So here we got Imogen. Imogen, what what would you pick next? Let's let's take it in turn. <laughs> oh let's... Jesus. Um. Yeah. Uh. I mean, there's a Jade Golem in there, but that's not going to do much without anything else. Jade is tough in Arena to to get enough Jade yeah. cards to make it worthwhile. Mm. Yeah. Give a random friendly beast dragon and burlock two plus two. It's one of the mm. menagerie menagerie synergies, and then just uh, yeah. play Murloc synergy. Yeah, uh, I kind of like the idea of having a Murloc synergy just for flavor. Yep. I mean, is that okay? <laughs> it's, it, it's also a smart idea to start filling out your ones and twos as quick as you can, because um, they okay. they can arguably the most important cards. Because it, it, no matter how good your late game cards are, if you're dead by turn five, then you don't. Doesn't Very matter. true. So I think we'll go for Shark. the Rockwell Hunter. Shaman does have a bunch of Murloc cards too, so there's a good chance we're going to get a, a few. So, mm. cool. Right, we'll start going through. Well, Luke, what would you pick here? Oh, Bloodlust is always a pretty solid bet for a finisher. Um, so that's not bad. Um, South Sea Deckhand is obviously reliant on us having a weapon. Yeah. Um, which we really do want to try and find if possible, but we probably can't rely on it as much as we could have constructed decks. So. Um, Nerubian Prophet, uh, but if you get that at the wrong time, it's just bad. It's very, so, very strong early, though, for yeah, tempo swings mm, in the arena. It's true. And for, for uh, health is uh, protected against quite a few different things in the current yeah. selection of cards. So, yeah, things, I, I, I like things, either of those. One of the good things mm. about Prophet is if you have it in your opening hand, then you can play it on turn three for three mana, and then you're going to get a mm. three mana 4-4, four, four, which is quite nicely statted. Um, so... But like you say, Bloodlust is a really nice finisher. Your call. Yeah. Um, all right, well let's let's go with the profit. I think we'll we'll maybe see another Bloodlust later. They tend to pop up a bit. So all right, we've got mm. a uh, Knights of the Frozen Throne card Ooh. here. Nicely statted dragon. I think we'll just go for that one. Mm-hmm. That's good. All right, Mimo. Oh, oh man, I'm going to ruin everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> To get Ooh, to get through like this, I'll, I'll I'll pick a few in in quick succession. But Mimo, what do you think here? Uh, mm, let's. I would say. Well, oh, see, I would go the the fire plume phoenix yep. for that one. So would I. Yep. Yeah. I, I would one hundred percent go that. Yep. Yep. Hooray! Being able, being, being able to do damage and have a decent minion on the board is is good. Mm. So two, two new Knights of the Frozen Throne cards here. Uh, I think we'll write the Icebreaker off because it becomes um, very hard to get freeze effects, mm-hmm. even with yeah. some of the new cards featuring it. Um, and Battlecry, give a friendly minion, resummon. So this has the spell Ancestral Spirit built into it as a Battlecry. Um, what do you say? Mm. What do you say? We go for this one just for the fun of the effect. Yeah, because yeah. it's a new card. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ooh, um, yeah, that's, Ooh, oh, yeah. That's see, Doctor that's Three. That's my worst. Oh, if that comes onto the, oh, I hate that card. I hate we all we all, under, we all understand why we're picking fledgling, though, don't we? Yes. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. Really strong. Yeah. There. Blizzard actually reduced the chance of it appearing by fifty percent, um, specifically. As but here we are. <laughs> wow. You gotta so get where you can. Here we're, we're looking at Hexer or Evolve. Mm. Hexer is a new card. Go for that. I do. I do like Hexa, yeah. yeah. Hexa it Pretty is. Cool. Remo- mm. Removal's nice. We might not may get many spells. Spells are harder to come by in Arena. Yeah. I, I said we go for some removal. Yeah. Agreed. Do we have any uh, elementals so far? We do have the one, the uh, Fire Plume Phoenix. Is uh, yeah, we do. And Discover effects are really strong in Arena. So we're going to go for that. Good. Yep. All right, Luke, what do you Ooh. think here? Um. All right. Well, I think the uh, swarmer is probably out because it's a little too situational to use. Yep. Because we want a, a weapon to be able to use that properly. Um, decent statted taunt is pretty attractive. The stone shaper is again um, good if we've got enough elementals, but at the moment we probably don't. So I'd probably go the bruiser out of this slot. Yeah. Hard removal is nice. Yep. Go the hex. Tar Creep is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Huh. Death Rattle, if it's your opponent's turn, summon an 8-8 Skeleton. Interesting. Now, I really like Skelomancer out of these picks, and the reason why is because you're playing a bit of a mind game with your opponent as well, and you have to force them to think about whether it's worth them removing a threat that you've got on board, even though it's going to set you up pretty 
well with that skeleton. Yeah. Also, good protection against board clears because if they clear the board, then you're going to have something to swing back at them. True. So they're going to have to be really thinking about that. Like if they're a mage with like a um, uh, like an what's the card? The blizzard. Blizzard. Yeah. Yeah. Very mm. good point. Normally, um, because of our mana curve, I'd, we want to stop looking for fives. But given the other choices, especially, we're, we're going to go for skeleton. But mm -hmm. if we can, we can. We, we want to avoid fives. Go for weapon. Oh, that, that's a really nice five, but I don't know. What's this new card? Whenever this minion attacks, deal two damage to the enemy hero. That's pretty trash. Um, probably go for the other weapon. Yeah, sounds good. Some of the cheaper cards. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. We're getting, we're getting lots of fives that we want. But... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's either the spirit or the hexa. Spirit. Well, the spirit is resummon rather than putting it in our hand, so it is like getting a free cast. Yes, yeah. Go for spirit. Yeah, I, I think, think we so. go for spirit. Yeah. Elemental. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More removal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, okay. So what have we got? We got leatherclad hog leader. Our opponent's going to need to have six more, six or more cards in hand to gain charge. Charge devil sword. Uh, Seven attack, can't attack heroes this turn, and then the transformy thing. After it attacks a hero, transform into a random six plus minion. I know what I choose, but uh, Luke again, what do you think here? For me, it'd be the Devil Saw yep. instantly because yep. you can drop it and use it as removal pretty much straight away. Yep. Um, okay. Imogen, yeah. What do, what do you want to pick for this one? The Murloc. The Murloc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Good one drop. I mean, we've got ten cards to go. We could come up with a whole bunch of Murlocs, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, if we get lucky, we can go Murloc Raider into Rockpool Hunter. So a little bit mm. of Murloc synergy there. <laughs> Here we're gonna we're gonna ignore the Razor Leaf because we got no way of silencing it or taunting it. Um, so what do we got? Phantom Freebooter gains stats equal to your weapons. We've got two weapons: Spirit Claws and Stormforge Axe, um, mm. or the Assassin. What do you think, Luke? Hmm. All right. How's that curve looking? Um, we don't have any massive cards yet. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. Yeah, that sneaky eight weapon. eight in there though. Yeah. True. Oh, um. Yeah. Look, having a stealth minion on board with that much power is probably not a bad thing to be able to remove something yep. that really threatens us. So I'd probably go the assassin. Mm. Ooh, there we go. New card. Freeze a minion mm. and deal three damage to adjacent ones. Do we want that? Yeah. Multiple removal. More elemental synergy. Mm-hmm. This is a nice huh? arena card, but... Oh. Draw two Murlocs. <laughs> All two of them. All two of them. <laughs> Pay two mana yeah. to get three mana worth of cards. Mm. Oh man, it's such a it's such a shame that it's not just like discover two Murlocs. That'd be perfect yeah, for us right yeah. now. I think yeah. so. We're either going for the big boy, or we're going mm. for the the create the kooky chemist. It can be nice for um, both buffing your guys by like we could flip the Tar Creeper, um, give them lots of attack, or it's also useful against enemy minions to lower their defense mm. if they've got high attack. So we're on pick 24, so do we have any sort of finishes at the moment? Not really. Yeah, for the horror? Mm, yeah, I think we probably want something big to punch. Oh, here we go. There's your Murlocs, Imogen. <laughs> oh, my screen is on a delay. <laughs> oh, really? Got there it is. Finishes. Summon four one one Murlocs. <laughs> do you want to go for that? Oh, I think that's fun. Yeah. Okay. I hope we do realise that I'm creating a narrative around our team <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, not the S word. I was going to say. <laughs> what? We got it. the snail just for imaging. Yeah. Oh, don't say. Ugh. Uh, okay. What do we think here then? Our, our curve's quite nice. Um, mm. We don't have many spells, so the mana worm's going to be not too great. Whenever this minion takes damage, gain plus two attack. So it's kind of like an, an enrage effect. Um, I like the death 
rattle. Yep. That's kind of cool. And look, it's so adorable. It is quite cute. And it works well with uh, shaman totems. Yes. Oh, good point. What all about those. <laughs> yep. All right, so we don't have spells to really no. use mana with. All right, Ancient there we go. Water. So, yeah. So nice. We, we didn't get any legendaries, um, but we've got a few of the new cards in there to try out. And our curve is quite nice, but we don't really have too many uh, late game uh, clinches. And we don't really have any board clear like volcanoes or lightning storms. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to predict that if we take this all the way through arena, we'll end up on a 4-3. What, <laughs> what, what, what do you guys reckon? I have no idea. I'm going to go with what Christian said. 4-3? <laughs> what do you think, Luke? More optimistic or pessimistic? I don't know. I'm, I'm maybe a little more pessimistic with this one um, just because I don't think we've got too much in the way of combos and I think we're really lacking any healing too, which is something you sometimes see a bit more of in Shaman decks. So, True. yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It, it totally comes down to how unfortunate our opponents <laughs> are and how we go. <laughs> yep. In that way. No bone yeah. mares. Didn't get any bone mares. No, I know. So do you want to explain how Arena works in case someone had stumbled across this video and had a fever dream and started watching it sure. at this point? So in Arena, you draft your deck and then you get queued up against a, another opponent who has drafted a random deck too. Uh, and then you get win as many games as you can. And once you've lost three games, like a three strikes, you're out system. So after losing three games, then your Arena run is over. And the number of wins that you've managed to crew determines how good your prize is going to be um, so you want to get as many wins as you can before you suffer your third loss it's worth noting that no matter how many losses versus wins you get you always get at least one pack from a way, uh, an arena run yes so and um arena runs typically cost um a few dollars uh real world currency or 150 gold in game yep. and so given that a pack in game is 100 gold it's a bit more than you pay for a pack but you're always guaranteed to get a pack so it's kind of a bit of a gamble of like 50 gold to hopefully do well and get a bit more than just a pack yep. so and if you manage yep. a, about eight wins you start seeing you get the pack plus you normally get 150 gold or more so if you manage to get eight wins or higher you're you're getting a free pack and you're getting more money than you spend so that's where you really want to get to yeah like professional <laughs> arena players try and go infinite where their their wins actually bankroll their next arena run and so on and so on yep, so yeah yep. which is really cool i will I'm never achieve that, that. And that's no, no last I, month. I will never either <laughs> I, spent, I spent the last two weeks of uh of the the, the previous month doing that Got my first 12, 12 win run. Nice. Well done. My record's only four. Only ever achieved four. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, I should mention that 12 is the, the maximum. So once you hit 12, you've got the, the biggest prize and you're allowed to retire. <laughs> they allow you to retire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's get stuck in and, and have a bit of a, a, uh, a go. Here we go. 